Hey my little peachy rooties and welcome back to a new video on to another brand new series. This is actually technically season three. I've done this kind of series three times now. It is BitLife Controls My Sims. If you guys haven't watched the previous seasons, go check them out. Particularly season one because we're gonna be following the season one format for this series, which is very, very closely tied to BitLife. We're not trying to influence things. We're just seeing how things go and replicating that in The Sims. So if you guys are excited for this challenge, you know what to do. Hit that like button, let me know your your thoughts on it and ideas in the comments below and also hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video also if you guys check out the merch bar below it will have some of my peach Rooney merch for you guys if you do get any and you take a picture of yourself wearing it and uh, tweet it or put it on instagram i will feature you guys in the video too so bit life has changed since i have played it last i've heard there's a lot of updates you guys told me it's going to be a little bit different this time i'm super hyped about that also the logo has changed it is no longer a little sperm cell which which is always nice. It is now, I think it's Da Vinci's man. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open BitLife and get ready to start a new game. I am super excited for this. An heirloom. Drag the flashlight around the attic if you want to discover your next heirloom. I don't know what this means. This is so new. A dice. Lucky dice. The average value for this item is $1. I don't know what that means, but I don't feel like it's a good thing. And this was my last life. I actually remembered it, which is pretty cool. But obviously, we want ourselves a new life. We had a girl season one. We had a boy season two. So I would like a girl again for this season. And we're going to start a custom life. Both the doggos are here. Can you see doggos? There's a bean. Oh, she's camera shot. Alexi Luva, she's getting so thick, but she is so cute. Don't lick my face. We've talked about that. We don't like it. But I'm allowed to kiss yours. Them's are the rules. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do, I don't want to be able to pick stuff. Like, I just want it to be a girl. So let's do random life. Okay, Abigail Assange. Am I related to Julian Assange? I hope not because I won't be seeing him very much. Let's just put it that way. I am a baby who lives in... Melbourne, Australia. Oh my gosh, Delhi, Delhi, I oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hit my peach juice and hit myself in the face. This season's mental already. There's peach juice everywhere. But Delhi, I might be your neighbor in this game. I might be living in Australia with you in Melbourne. I'm so excited. Okay, I was given up for my, I was given up for adoption by my biological mother. And she decided she couldn't afford to raise me as a single mom. <gasps> my birthday is April 14th. I am an Aries. My name is Abigail Assange. My father is Max. My mother is Aurora. She's in the army and he is a receptionist. They're both 37. And I have a big sister called Harriet as well. Okay, I am gonna be making this gang along of uh, my thumbs basically based on your NPCs. So, oh, look, I can see how they look as well. I'm kind of getting the vibe that my sister's adopted too. And I've got blonde hair. The thing is, this is where it's difficult because I'm adopted. So, the baby's looks won't be based on the parents, which is definitely not the way we normally do things. So already, this is gonna be quite different. But yeah, let's grab Max and Aurora and Harriet from your guys' creations. So for Max, I'm looking for a red-haired man. Okay, this guy seems like sweet. It's by Nana Volstad. Luke Clinton, why don't we go ahead and add him? And he is gonna be our dad. I have to make him look like Max. So I need to give him green eyes and quite Quite long red hair. Also, our dad is kind of religious, but quite generous as well. So I'm gonna give him the compassionate and cheerful. Always nice when it's your dad, right? And I need to dress him like he's 37. Okay, so we've got dad and now we need um, Aurora, who is our mum. Aurora is very princessy, isn't it? Our mum is a princess. All mums are princesses. Okay, this girl's super cute. This is by LMBC2002. She's so pretty. I feel like she could definitely be our mum. Oh, so cute. I'm getting good mum vibes from her. Mum's pretty generous as well. Honestly, I have great parents. I literally great parents. Okay, so we've got our parents and I'm gonna make my sister Harriet. I'm gonna get her from the gallery because I'm vibing that she is also adopted. So they've adopted two kids, which is really cool. Uh, this girl's super, super cute. So this is by Relolly01 and we're gonna make her a teenager because she's 15. Honestly, kind of love our sister. Our sister's really cool and Harriet's smart. So I'm gonna change cheerful into genius. Okay, so I've got my little thumbs. I am gonna go Go ahead and move them in. Mom, dad, and big sis. And then they're gonna have to adopt me. <laughs> and since I was born in April, April's spring, right? So let's start in spring. See, I'm following it very closely, okay? We take this very seriously. And I'm in Australia. 
Australia's really hot. Are any of the worlds set in Australia? Oh man, no. Nothing is set anywhere near Australia. This makes it kind of hard. I may just go, is it Newcrest? Because it's kind of a blank slate. That could work quite well. So let's go ahead and move into Cookout Lookout. And it's snowing. <laughs> It's snowing here in Australia. I can't start a series based in Australia and have snow straight away, okay? It's just, that's madness, madness. I think we'll move here. Please don't be snowing here. And I've given them a small house because if you look, they don't actually have much money. So it wouldn't be fair to just give myself a big old huge house. So there we go. We've got our room set up for everyone. It's a little dated. It's not really my taste, but... They can't be picky, okay? We don't have a load of money. And then I guess one of the first things I need to do is grab a PC and adopt me. Little old me. Don't have much money, yet we've got, we've got a mark. <laughs> I also need to move their money right down because we don't have much. So I'm just going to give them $500. Oh, wait. They might need... Yeah, they need more for me. Okay, fine. $1,500 so that I can arrive. And please be a baby girl for sale. Not for sale. <laughs> for adoption. With blonde hair. I look blonde to me. I need a blonde haired girl. I'm pretty sure Violet was blonde as well. Is there an, actually an Abigail on there? I don't know if there is. There's a few babies though. I think we'll go Helen. Let's go for baby Helen. Dad has gone to adopters. Okay, mom. You are meant to be a sergeant in the army. Oh my gosh, I think we had this last time where some one of our siblings or parents was in the army. So let's go ahead and find you a job in the army. And aren't you meant to be at school, young lady? You start school tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. Why don't you get a head start and do a little bit of homework, please? So mom is in the military. And when dad gets back, we'll get him a job as a receptionist. And mom needs a training bot for her military career. Okay, we can do that. Oh, no, we can't because I'm being adopted. Come on, come and bring me. I'm the main star of the show. I am the baby. <gasps> We've brought a new family member home. Okay, so here we go. Abigail Assange. Oh, wait, that is not how you spell my name. Abigail Assange, infant. Here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, oh, where am I though? Where am I? <gasps> where have they put me? Oh, just on the end of the bed. Okay, I'm gonna buy myself a crib. Oh, the adoption event is still in progress. Dad's giving me a little welcome hug into the family. This is super, super adorable. And let's get me a little old crib. They can't afford any of the nice ones. There's not much money in this family, but there's a lot of love and that's the main thing. I'm gonna get them a dark bassinet to match their dark, depressing brown room. And here I am, guys, ready to begin my life as a screaming crying little baby dad i feel like i need some food please please come feed me thank you don't shush me dad oh i need to get daddy's job as well don't i there's not a great deal to do while you're a baby in this i actually don't think i can really do anything i have no assets and i can't do anything with my parents yeah or any activities so i may as well just age up a year and oh wow okay career for dad he's a receptionist what did we do for this last time i feel like this came up before there's no specific like receptionist job in the sim I might just give him business because he's a receptionist at a business. So there we go. So it's dinner time and once again, your mother is swirling a spoonful of your least favorite green muck through the air. The spoon approaches your lips. How dare you? How dare I? Like mashed avocado. Avocado is such a godly... Is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? I don't know, but I, I had mashed avocado for breakfast today. You eat that, you little brat. Oh, should I surprise me? Oh, this is new. Let's surprise me. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I cried. Oh, no. I was given a banana for my efforts. And my looks are 52. My smarts are pretty low. But I'm healthy. I'm reasonably happy. I am being welcomed. Wow, a lot of people here to welcome us to the neighborhood, which I guess we'll invite in. And I'm going to get mum to come in and change my diaper because apparently dad's an Egypt. Oh, some of our neighbors just come in and start. Wait, that's the pancakes. The pancakes have come in and started slow dancing. Okay, that's adorable. Well done. Well done, pancakes. And even as a one-year-old, there's not really a great deal I can do with my family alarms so let's just go ahead and age me up again oh i've made a friend a little boy called chris wants to be your friend as if i've made friends at three that's so cute i'm really tempted to do this life as a surprise me life but i feel like there's some decisions where i won't want to be surprised but let's just try it once more with our little friend chris become friends with him bffl best friends for life you're now friends with chris crumble oh my gosh can i even talk how am i making friends with people at this point i'm gonna change our status to best friends oh <gasps> chris does not want to become 
become your best friend? Oh my gosh, I've been rejected at the tender age of three. Are you kidding me? At the tender age of two, in fact. That's an even bigger sting. I've been rejected at two. Wow. In the Sims game, I'm just here sleeping away. I'm swatting away mosquitoes in my sleep. We are in Australia. I feel like they probably have more mosquitoes in the UK. So a baby sleeping and fly squatting does not seem that much out of the norm to me. And what's all my family lambs doing? Harriet is having a cry in bed because she's feeling super embarrassed about something that she said. So she's hiding. We found out one of our neighbors is evil. So that's great. And dad's out here chit-chatting with the evil guy, gossiping about the neighbors that he's just met that are in the same room as him. Mom is over here reading in here as well. Okay, the women of our family are not very socially, like, they're not great at social. One of them's hiding in a room and the other one is hiding in bed or was hiding in bed. So I don't know. It's kind of up to dad to be the social butterfly of the household. And let's check out our little neighborhood. We definitely have the smallest house in the little neighborhood we live in, but it seems kind of cute. We're just down from this cute little stream over here. We got little shops and stuff opposite us. It's just a nice little Willow Creek neighborhood. Compared to some of the other neighborhoods, I think this is a pretty nice one. It's better to have the smallest house on the nicest street than to have the biggest house on the worst street. A wise person, I'm sure, has once said. Maybe me. Maybe me just now. And mum's so happy. Ready-made kid. Aurora's got all the new pregnancy bliss without any of the fuss of pregnancy. Oh my gosh. This is what I want. The neighbors are seeing themselves out. That's nice. And I guess I should let them all go and have their little day of life. Oh, look, my sister just came in and changed my nappy. Thank you, Harriet. I just realized I haven't set Harriet as being a child of these guys. I don't want her to start flirting with a dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and add relationship. Okay, that's your mother and that's your father. Perfect. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. Don't want to be flirting with your dad there. Oh, what? What is this family tree? My mom and my dad, but my dad is also, my dad's mother is also his wife and also his child is himself, but not through her. I've done something wrong here. This, this, I've done something very wrong. Yeah, you're set as being a spouse and a mother. <laughs> Let's immediately remove that. Okay, does the family tree look any better now? Yay, okay. That was the weirdest family tree I've ever seen. I don't know if the stereotype is true or not, but the stereotype is that's an Alabama family tree right there. Okay, mum's out here doing her little practicing for her military career. Awesome, dad is in here. Oh, having a little poop, good for you. And whatever, you, whoever you're texting, or watching is making my sister very flirty. She is 17 though. It's that kind of age, isn't it? She's also helping out around the house though, which I love. I'm excited to see how I'm gonna look as a little toddler. Very excited. But I'm gonna have to modify my appearance based on like, this is why I really wanted to use one of your sims for this, but the adoption thing kind of threw us in a little bit of a loop, didn't it? Oh my gosh, she's practicing and debating in the mirror. She is smart, isn't she? My sister is on it. Okay, everyone's sleeping in our cute little house. Okay, please ignore that. But in our cute little house, ready for their first first days in game of like uh school and work and everything and is that mom practicing again mom is a freaking warrior love her mom is amazing okay mom is amazing i do feel like my parents are quite old though i feel like we could lose our parents quite early in this bit life story i'm noticing i'm doing an awful lot of crying mom maybe come in from the punching and change my diaper okay so mom is in work she i feel like she's pretty good at her job so let's get her working hard my sister is in school she's brainy so i'm gonna get her working hard and then the final one to leave the house is little dad Max. It's weird having a character called Max that isn't Max Max from my main series, but he is heading into work as well, which means I'm going to daycare. And oh my gosh, my mom's been promoted already. I told you she was good at her job. She's also got a metal display case. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put our little display case here and then I'm gonna pop my mom's little medals in them as she earns them. Okay, the curtain's kind of definitely blocking them there. <laughs> there, that's better. There's mom's little medals. Okay, mom, a brand new medal for you. It is the medal of aging up your child. So please come and change me out. I don't want to change, I like, age up with poop on me. And then if you wouldn't mind going ahead and aging me up. Because in my game, I kind of like to link three years of age with going from toddler to a child. So I'll age up in here as well. Ooh, we've got a little text. I just want to see myself age up. Kapow! Okay, Abigail has aged up. So you're riding in the car at the supermarket shopping for groceries with your mother and passed by another woman handing out free samples of sushi. You want some, but your mum keeps saying no and keeps walking. For the baby stuff, I'm just gonna surprise me because I can't remember what decisions I made as a baby. I'm just boohooing again because my mum would give me some free sushi. My big sister Harriet graduated from secondary school. I'm kind of interested to know what she's gonna do next. And here is how I look as a toddler. I've got blue eyes and blonde hair. I'm healthy. I've got smarter. Okay, I was smarter than I was last year and I'm 
about about 50% good looks. I don't have a great deal to go off other than blonde hair and blue eyes. So I'm just gonna roll the dice in here as well. Independent. I think I'm the opposite independent if I cry all the time. I think I should be fussy because I've cried twice in game now. So let's make me fussy. And oh wow, guys, look at me. Look at me go. I am literally just a floating head and some shoes. Although, you know what? Looks wise, very similar to how I'm meant to look. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and check me out in cast. Okay, so other than the fact that I am literally a floating head, I think I'm cute. It's really hard to tell at this stage when they're still like little babies. And we're just going blonde hair and blue wide for now. Oh my gosh, is it just me or is that skin tone? Like there's no life to it. I'll keep the color the same, but I wanna go for one of my new custom ones. I am pretty pale. Like if I look at me, I'm very pale. I know, but also quite yellowy pale. It is so weird seeing the back of the head like that. That's really odd. Okay, I feel like I'm finally ready to give you a body now. Oh my gosh, I've got missing front teeth. That's actually so cute. I just noticed her laugh and I was like, what's going on with the teeth? And that is freaking adorable. Okay, I'm freaking cute. Let's just put it out there. I'm freaking cute. Now I've noticed that my parents in this game are quite religious. So I've kind of given myself my Sunday best. <laughs> I am so adorable. I kind of look Australian as well. I don't know if it's the blonde hair in my head. Australian people because they're on a beach being all beachy. I don't know. But basically, good day, mate. I can't do accents, but I need to try and be Australian for this series. Ali tried try to make me say one Australian thing over and over and over again. Something about Steve Irwin and a kangaroo. A kangaroo? That was good. A kangaroo. That is my only Australian thing I'm gonna say. Abigail, what's your first word? A kangaroo. Abigail, what's your favorite animal? A kangaroo. Abigail, what just run by the house? A kangaroo. Boom! There we go. This this is this is not gonna be culturally insensitive at all. <laughs> and I can actually speak to my parents now. Okay, my mum is home. I'm sad. Why am I sad? I don't know. But I am gonna go ahead and speak to my mum. Conversation. We had a chat about how scary it is when the toilet gets flushed. Mum, speak to me. Don't leave me here to cry. Don't leave me here to cry and do push-ups. You're not very loving to me, are you? And I'm gonna spend some time with my mum. She took me geocaching. I'm three. <laughs> okay, and what about Harriet? Why don't we have a conversation with Harriet? I talk about toilets a lot. I talked about toilets with Harriet too. And she took me to karaoke. <sighs> The, the activities they spend are really random, but I'm gonna spend some time chit-chatting with my mom, which is cute. I kind of look like I could be her daughter, to be honest. This family is so nice. Like, being all sweet, adopting kids, kind of love them for that a lot. And you've come home from school feeling lustful, have you? What is going on at school for you? You've come home feeling lustful and taking a shower as well. Interesting. You need to come and talk to me as well, okay? Oh, yay. My big sis is teaching me to talk. This is so cute. Yay. Look at my eyes. My eyes are literally glowing. I, my eyes glow. And I think dad's been promoted as well. Office assistant. Well done. Isn't that what Pam does at the office? Well done. You've been promoted from a receptionist to an office assistant. It is literally just like the office now. However, you did not get promoted in BitLife. Does that mean I have to demote you? I mean, mom's a sergeant in BitLife, so she's kind of okay with the title that she's got. But I didn't see any promotions for you, dad. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to age me up end of the year. Kapow. Be careful. What played on the sidewalk of the home, you notice a group of buzzing insects flying in and out of a nearby lamppost. What will you do? Okay, this is where I could get killed as a child. So I'm just going to observe them, which seems to be the safe option because otherwise I could quite easily die. <laughs> um, Big sister Harriet has begun studying biology at university. Hurry up, my girl. We're going to have to age you up and send you off to university. This is so sad. We're just starting to spend time together and you're going to be leaving the house. I guess it means she's going to start spending a little bit more time with friend Chris. Campbell. Let's have a conversation with him. We talked about why the sky is blue. Okay, he seems like he's gonna be a nice friend, so I'm excited about him. <gasps> Imagine if we marry our childhood friend. Oh my gosh. So I'll add Chris to the game, but I actually need to go ahead and age up Harriet because she's gonna be leaving us. She's gonna be going to university. So I need to bake a cake. Oh well, might as well leech her brain for as much as I can do while she's still at home. And I've just pooed in my nappy. Okay, great. I'm also sad because flashcards are hard. I bet Harriet didn't moan about flashcards when she was a toddler. Just saying. Kind of giving shade to myself. Oh, and this woman has just come and knocked at the door. <gasps> oh my gosh, Becca Clark. She's a university person. You guys will definitely be going to uni together. You might as well say hello to her. Oh, and Becca's a bookworm. You guys are going to get on famously. We're going to have to say bye to Harriet. Because she's going to go ahead and blow out these candles and age up into a young adult. Ready to go off with Becca to university. Kind of ironic 
Tarim, wow, she got a filling out of that chest area when she aged up to a young adult there. Taria aged up, she is childish, she's genius. Honestly, what else can we say about her? I don't know that much more about her. If she studied biology, she probably likes animals and nature. So I'm gonna give her a green thumb. And you're heading to uni, my girl. Okay, so I've got her to apply to universities. It's gonna be a couple of days until we hear back from her. And I'm reading a book with mum. I've just realized I need a little toddler's room. So we have 2,000 pounds. I need a place to live in this house as well. Ooh, desk nameplate stolen. I think dad stole this from work. Dad, you're such a little tyrant. Mum's there in the army and then you're stealing things from work. And I don't think I can afford any of the toddler rooms like pre-built. I'm gonna have to build it myself. <gasps> Wait, my sister's going to university. I guess I'll take her room. Oh, hurry up. I'm so sorry, but this is this is my room now. <laughs> yep, I really just went and deleted her room so that I could give myself an awesome toddler's room. I know it's a child, but I can just replace that bed. I've got a hamster now and everything. <gasps> oh, I'll have to get a hamster in bit life. We'll get a hamster in bit life. Until then, I won't fill it with a pet. And since big sis is leaving soon, I've asked her to be- <gasps> Oh my gosh, my pajamas match my bed sheets. But I've asked her to be the one to give me a read to bed. Also, we kind of temporarily share a room. But she is reading me to sleep before she heads off to university. They don't usually move back into the house either. So thanks, big sis. Spend some nice quality time together before you head off to uni. Look how sad I am that she's leaving me for uni. Oh my gosh. I am just so freaking cute. Look at me go. I can't ask anyone for money yet and I know how important it is in this game to ask people for money as soon as you can because you need it but I can't do it yet I'm afraid guys. Oh we've heard back from university. Which one do we want to attend though? She wants to do biology. I don't know what grade she got. Can I get her to do a degree? No okay so I have to if she's gonna do biology she has to go to Britchester but that's fine because that's where her friend Becky was going. I'm kind of feel bad because I'm just sending her off but I'm gonna get her to move into university house. And look with her friend Becky, this is nice. Look at all these beautiful modules you're doing. Good luck. And look, she's actually moving in with them. That's so adorable. She kind of looks similar to her actually. And I'm gonna move her in and then immediately go back to the other family. Okay, you moved in. Good luck with uni, bye. <laughs> and I feel bad because I kind of can't see how she's doing at uni, but we're just gonna hope for the best, okay? And why was I just left in the bushes? I'm not enjoying being left in the bushes, okay? But let's do another year in game without our sister Harriet, which is real sad. Sad. I think I should add ourselves a little Chris Campbell. I might just give him to one of our neighbors, such as the pancakes. I might give him to the pancakes. <laughs> and I'm gonna create Chris based on your Sims rather than the pancakes. One, because I wanna get you guys involved, but two, I think we'll get a better Sim that way. I'm just saying, not enjoying the pancake gene selection all that much. And a Norwegian Simmer, it's not fair. It's not fair for your Sims to look this good. He even looks similar to Chris in the hair and the skin tone. But we're doing him as a toddler because he's only five. You kiddo have an absolute glow up. An absolute glow up coming your way. Just get ready for it. And the newest addition to the pancakes family. And we actually both, we both hate vegetables. We get on like a house on fire. It's nice. I'm glad we've got a little childhood friend. Get me away from the pancakes right now. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Okay, so we've made our little friendos with Chris. I even tried to start a toddler like event to get him to come over, but apparently I can't get him to come over, but whatever. Oh well, we're four. We have one year left to be a toddler. So let's Let's do that and then we can do child in the next episode. So let's age up again. We are starting primary school. Little Harvey primary school. Okay, that sounds freaking adorable. We've been enrolled in primary school. I've created my crowning achievement on the walls of my home using a neon marker. Well, we know what that means. That means I've been wrecking, but oh, I've just been saved because mum's popped me in bed. And I'm sorry I can't find Chris, but he is my little friend, okay? I'm gonna match our friendship levels to what they are on here. Would you say that is about 40? We are 40% friendly guys. With little Chris, our only friendo in the world. We have started primary school. We still can't ask our parents for money yet, but I feel like Abigail's got a pretty interesting life ahead of her as a little adoptee baby in Melbourne. 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 Kangaroo. So guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments below. We can definitely do some more of this. We will go into a child in the next episode and we will kind of use BitLife as a guide for where little Abby's life is gonna go. If you guys have enjoyed this don't forget to give it a little cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you guys in a new episode soon thank you so much for watching bye